I think it's possible that Jake is working with Helena, yes. That's crazy. What do you mean crazy? You don't even know the guy. We don't even know his real name. The man has a brain injury, Sam. Hell, he was hit by a car. No, correction, he was run down by an SUV. An SUV, I know. I'm not saying that the accident was fake, but, but the memory loss, that sure as hell can be faked. I mean, that's an easy way to dodge questions. He's not dodging past. anything. Really? How well do you really know this guy? I know the guy doesn't have any money. I know he was working for me on New Year's Eve and taking out the trash the next morning. I know that I had to call him a room because he didn't have oh, a place to stay. God. So so why would a guy need all that if he had such a sweet deal with Helena Kessler? Why? Because maybe that's his cover. Cover for what? What is he covering for? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Come on, Carly. You're not stupid. Think about it. First, he was shacking up with Elizabeth, and now he's cozying up he's to you. He's not cozying up with me outside of a job. Jake has asked me for nothing. Yeah, because he's not stupid. He wants everyone to like him. Come on, Sam. This isn't about Jake, it's about you. Me? Yeah, it's about you. <sighs> Faison escaped. The man who killed Jason is free, and you're the reason the cops couldn't go after the gunman. Oh, really? You think that I blame myself? I know for you're being... blaming yourself. You shouldn't, but yes, you are. You can't accept that Faison's probably on the other side of the planet, so you're putting your misplaced anger and grief on an innocent man. He is not innocent. He shot a cop and he set Faison free. You have no proof of any of this. You have no proof whatsoever, Sam. But you convinced yourself that this is true. And now you have Jake wondering if he did it. Wait a minute, what? What did you just say? Jake is wondering if he did it or not? You didn't confess, Sam. There's nothing to confess to. But you and Jake were in the PCPD, right where you were taken hostage, and you kept hammering him, telling him that he was the one who grabbed you. It flipped him out to the point that he had a false memory. What makes you so sure it was false? Shall we talk about Samantha? She's accusing me of taking her hostage at the PCPD, using her to liberate a prisoner. Face on. Yes? Yes. I told her it couldn't be me because I was out looking for a job. But, uh, I get this flicker. It's like a memory of grabbing Sam. Describe the memory. Just, just snapshots. I can't tell you what happened right before or right after, but the images in my head seems real. Why consult Dr. Collins? So he can examine me. Tell me that I'm innocent. But I'm not innocent, am I? You are guilty as sin. Believe me, I want the guy who shot you arrested and prosecuted. We talk about a crime, marking up that gorgeous body. The criminal charges are for shooting a cop. I know. But you're like a sexy cop, so there should be additional charges. Just not against that Jake guy. I don't think he did it. How do you know if you've never even met the guy? Okay. If Faison paid you to break him out of jail, would you hang around to get a bartending job in the same city where that jailbreak happened? Or would you be laying on a beach somewhere where there isn't an extradition treaty? Okay, you make a good point. According to Dante, Sam's convinced he's the guy that held her hostage. I think it's more complicated than that. How much do you really know about Sam's husband, Jason? Well, I know that he was an enforcer for Sonny Corinthos, and I know that Faison killed him. Sam's had a really rough life. I think Jason was the first person who made her feel stable and Gave her a home. She really loved him. And right when they got their son back, Jason was gone. They never even found his body. <laughs>